Hello everyone, welcome to the channel for everything Arsenal and everything football. Thanks for being here. I hope you're all doing well and I'm back again with some positive news this time around. I'm not going to be talking about Alexis Sanchez or Mikaterian this time around. I'm here to give you the news about Danny Sabayos and Sabayos is finally back. Danny Sabayos is finally back. Like i'm so i'm so relieved to have him back because i've always said like um the last like three predicted lineups or possible lineups i've done especially after he'd already left we were looking very very short in midfield we were looking very short um i was thinking about Gwenduzi leaving torera leaving and i'm um, only remaining with shaka because i've also had el nenu go out on loan again probably to take you to spain so would have remained very short because maybe niles but if bellerin leaves niles would have had to cover there so would have probably had just shaka and willock and i don't know who else so it was looking very bad but right now Sabias is back to Arsenal, second loan spell at Arsenal. I really wish we could have bought him because he looks like a very good player, especially after lockdown. He helped us very, very much. And um, I know if he plays well this season, the value will just keep going up and up. And by the time the season ends, it might be like 50 million or 60 million because he's now heading to the prime of his career. He's 24 years of age and uh, he made 37 appearances for us last season. So his value just keep on increasing. Th those 37 appearances, that shows you how important he was for us last season. How important he was to us, how important he was to Ateta, especially after lockdown. Because keep um, the fact also is that he got injured in the middle of the season and means, missed plenty of games, but still managed to play all those games and actually help us win the FA Cup. So really, really awesome signing for us, even though it's, on, uh, it's just a loan deal, it's a very good signing for us. 20 four years of age as i've said he can cover for us as the central midfielder alongside shaka and maybe in front of them um there's also uh there's also talk that uh ateta wants another midfield after sabios that of course is either party or a war but i'm hearing party probably won't come to arsenal so after this we'll probably make one or two signings maybe one cheap one one expensive one and one of them will definitely be a midfield and that could be um our to join Sabayas and Shaka so I'm really happy with that Sabayas back to Arsenal finally have someone who can create from midfield um what else did I want to add oh yeah I wanted to add that Sabayas is now our third new signing of this summer transfer window after Gabriel and William but we now have four fresh players four new players including Saliba who joined us last season but was out on loan at Saint Etienne but now he has joined up with the squad joined up with the team so exciting to see four new players two midfielders one attacking one central plus two defenders center backs of course you still need to strengthen more because the likes of Chelsea are strengthening heavily like 71 million 60 million Harvards Vana so we really need to keep on strengthening maybe two more signings as I said in midfield and maybe another defender on attacker you never know but yeah Sabayas is now officially a national player back for another season 2020 2021 this time let's see how it does let me know what you think about this signing would you have taken him yes or no would you prefer to go for other midfielders new people let me know in the comment section thanks for watching again welcome back to Arsenal Danny Sabayos and I will catch up with you guys later.